The purpose of the 3D project is to uh, provide solution for patient population in needs of specific rehabilitation care, such as amputee, upper limb amputee population, or burn victims. We started this project in Amman in 2017, where we start to equip patients with upper limb deficiencies with 3D printed prosthetics. But more than providing prosthetic harms, we also try to understand their needs, provide something tailored to their needs, and to accompany them as much as possible into their new situation with the help of a multidisciplinary team, with rehabilitation worker engineers. So far, it's been more than 30 patients that has been equipped and accompanied with our team in, in Jordan. And then, starting in 2018, uh, we started another application for Burns victim, especially for the face and for their neck. Sequels and complications, skin complications, are pretty heavy for burn victims. They can get hypertrophic care and they do need pressure therapy. They do need transparent masks that we applied on them. But this technology is a bit difficult to make on their field. So we study scanner technology, 3D printing technology, and computer technology to try to help our team to manufacture those devices for the patients so they can have those devices. Now we provide more than 50 transparent facial orthoses for the field, where before we didn't have any of those in Jordan and just a small amount of them in Haiti. So this project uh, always brings me one, one story that shows the evolution of the project. We had this patient in Jordan in 2017. She's a burn and amputee patient. She had a upper limb deficiency and a very difficult uh, limb to equip. But at that time we were not able to provide her with any of the equipment. But she came back the next year and the project evolved and we were able finally to provide her with a prosthetic limb. And that was the first time she were able to wear a hand. And uh, this, this memory is one of our best memory for the project and show the evolution of this one. <laughs>